In our last class we have seen about the, the first thing, no, INRI, you read that uninterrupted current. So, yes, yes. For example, if we consider an, uh, uh, we consider an uh, ACB, we will say it will take some thousand amps ACB. So the breaker current of the breaker uh, will be thousand amps, which means this breaker is designed to operate under this current. That is the continuous current carrying capacity of the breaker is called the rated current. So for 24 power 7 we can give current until 1000 amps to this breaker. This breaker can carry this much of amount of current for, for a continuous period of time. This is called uh, the rated current. Uh, this rated current is represented in uh, two uh, short clusters. IN uh, is represented in uh, IN and also IU. IN and uh, IU. So, for example, if we take uh, if we take an uh, ACB, uh, uh, there will be two rated currents. That is the the, the rated current of the breaker itself. That is the bus, the rating of the bus bar available inside the ACB. This rated current will be represented in IU. This is the main parameter of the breaker. Uh, there will be a trip unit in ACB. Uh, and uh, even in MCC is also uh, the, the rated current value which is set in the trip unit is, is represented in IM. For example, if we take 1000 amps uh, ACB, but customer wants to wants the ACB of uh, 800 amps, so we can take uh, the ACB rating worth of 1000 amps and we can set the Trip unit value to 800 amps. In future, if they need it to increase it to 1000, we can just change the rating plug, we can uh, change the, this IN value. So, which means I, this, this IU is the default rated current of the breaker. This breaker can be adjustable from 400 to 1000 amps. We can have uh, several rating plugs available 400, 630, 800, and uh, 1000. Uh, uh, I will show you, you know, once we get into the panel of uh, ACB, uh, once we get into the ABB selection uh, manual of Emax, there we will see all these things in uh, practical. So the next uh, next parameter, I just discussed about the rated current of the breaker. Uh, for example, if we, if we take uh, MCB, MCB is there does not have any uh, any you know additional rating plugs. Are triple units because MCBs are uh, low cost breaker, so they, we don't have any adjustable parameter in uh, MCBs. So the, the default MCB value, will, the MCB will have a single rated current. IM, IM, it is it will be represented IM. So for example, if we take 10 amp MCB, the breaker capacity, the breaker uh, the overload trip will happen once it crosses 10 amps. So you don't have uh, adjustable value. If we take MCCB. We can take 630 amps MCCB and it can be adjustable adjustable uh, to 400 amps, 500 amps. We can change the rated current of the MCCB as well as ACB. So once uh, when uh, this adjustable uh, parameter, uh, you know, once when it becomes available, those breakers will have two rated current proposed in two names, IU and IM. Okay. We'll, we'll move on to the next one, which is ICU. Uh, rated ultimate short circuit breaking capacity which means the ma ultimate means maximum this breaker for example if you take this 1000 amp breaker there are several breaking capacity breakers available for example uh, I will consider I will take 50 k breaker we have 40 k 42 k breaker is available uh, I am speaking about the air circuit breaker, ACB. 1000 amps ACB, we have 42K, 50K, 65K, 70K, 80K. Uh, in some cases, for higher ranges, the breakers are available even up to 200K. So, this value, 50K means it represents 50,000 amps. So, this, this is the rated ultimate 
braking capacity under short circuit. When any short circuit happens, it means the phase and neutral are face to face. They uh, they tend to contact directly without connecting uh, to the load. This this current this calls short circuit. So the current will reach infinity. So if we consider a thousand ohms breaker, short circuit happens. The current will go on increasing from uh, thousand. Uh, 2000, 5000, 10000, 20000, 40000, 50000. If if we trip the breaker at a rating at a value of uh, up to 50 kA, uh, the breaker won't get any damage. This is called rated ultimate short circuit breaker. That is the the, the, the breaking the, the maximum acceptable breaking capacity of the breaker is 50 kA. This breaker. If we take 40 kA breaker, this we can use this breaker to trip. Maximum until 42 k. If we take 50 k breaker, and uh, if by any chance the breaker is getting tripped beyond 50 k, for example, after reaching 55 or 60 k, if the breaker is getting tripped, the breaker uh, has to uh, no the temperature of the breaker will go beyond its beyond its acceptable range, and the breaker may uh, tends to get damaged or even get you know, exploded. So. This is the maximum value which in which the breaker has to be tripped. But uh, as we discussed in our last session, the usual set value. This is the capacity, the maximum capacity of the breaker. But uh, the usual set value of the uh, short circuit value, the maximum value will be ten times the rated current. So we took thousand ohms breaker, but at this breaker has to trip when it reaches. 10 ohms, 10 k. This breaker will trip uh, when it reaches 10 k itself. It, it is not going to trip at 50 k. 50 k is the maximum capacity of the breaker. It can handle the breaker can handle up to 50 k. But while considering the source and the load, we just want to sense whether it is short circuit or not. So by default, we are setting it to 10 times the rated current. So for no reason, the current will not go beyond uh, no, it will not reach 10 times. Uh, the very fast circuit. So, when the current reaches, this is the relay set value available inside the circuit breaker. So, when the current reaches 10 ohm amps inside the breaker, the breaker will trip. Uh, in in case of ACB, we we are, we also have adjustable parameters like we can adjust it from one to ten times. So, normally people used to set the value as between three to five times. So, if we take thousand amps breaker, the breaker will be the, the the breaker will trip at three thousand to four thousand amps. So the, the, here we are discussing about two parameters. One is the actual trip value, that is the when we are tripping the breaker. The second value is the ICU, which means it is the maximum capacity of the breaker with which the breaker can trip without getting any damage. So uh, now we can we can uh, no we might have got some little confusion like uh, uh, I'm saying like the rate of current of the breaker is half thousand amps. But how thousand ohms breaker can uh, you know can carry fifty thousand ohms current inside the breaker? So whenever we speak about the current, we have to consider uh, the three parameters together, which is current, time, and temperature. So by simply saying about the current, you no, know, it does not have any meaning because whenever I high current flows through the breaker. The temperature will get increased. So once this, uh, how long the current is flowing, the temperature will be high. So once the temperature crosses the huge value, the damage is happening. So current, time, and temperature. I said this thousand ohms current we can send for 24 seconds. So we can the, the current is going continuously for 24 more than 24 hours. The temperature will not go beyond its acceptable range. In in this case, 50 k, the breaker will uh, you know it will trip in uh, milliseconds. Like for example, we can say 70 millisecond. Milli one millisecond is one by thousand seconds. So when short circuit happens in a thousand ohm breaker, the current will immediately it will reach 50 thousand ohm within a fraction of second. So when the when the time reaches 70 millisecond, which means instant, very very instant. Uh, everything happens, uh, you know, less than a second, immediate action. So within 70 millisecond, the breaker will trip. So in that 70 millisecond time, the temperature won't be very high, but uh, it's just it's just the capacity to break or uh, to explode the breaker. 
So in this, this can, uh, I think we can, uh, we can compare in this way. So later then we will have higher current continuous time. And uh, this, this one will uh, trip before 70 millisecond. So the next parameter will be even more confusing. Uh, I will, I will uh, you know, come later in this one. ICS, rated service short circuit breaking capacity, which is almost similar to ICU. You can see the description is same. Short circuit break capacity, here also short circuit break capacity. The only difference is, this is ultimate, this is service. Service means it is pre-tested. You can say it is a pre-tested breaker. Uh, okay, I will, I will come to this topic later. Uh, after completing this ICW, we will see this ICS. Okay, because it, it, it is least important compared to ICW. ICW is the most important topic. So, uh, we will see after 5 minutes about this ICS. ICW. ICW, it is rated short time withstand current or we can, we can uh, take the same way. Short circuit withstand capacity. Short circuit withstand capacity of the breaker. So, the difference between breaking capacity and the withstand capacity. Breaking means it is not the exploding. Breaking means tripping. That is the meaning. Breaking means I, at 50 k the breaker can uh, trip. That is the breaking capacity. Here, withstand capacity represent. Withstand means the maximum current, greater short time, the maximum current uh, for a certain period of time, the breaker can withstand. This is the maximum value. When the current reaches beyond this value, the breaker will get exploded or it will get damaged. This is the value of the withstand capacity. So which means withstand capacity is the maximum value this breaker can handle. Maximum current the breaker can handle. So once, uh, for example, if we say the regular current of the breaker is 1000 amps, short circuit happens, the current reaches 50 kA, the breaker should be trip. If trip function failure, failure happen inside the breaker, the breaker will not trip. So if the breaker will not trip, so next thing what is going to happen, the breaker is going to explode. It's going to get damaged. So when it will get damaged, this is the point. The, the max, the highest, the rate of short time is time current. This current is always represented uh, with the time. This value will be for the 1050k breaker, this value is going to be like uh, 50 k for 1 second. Here, we can say like this, 1000 amps breaker, we are, we are setting, we are giving a maximum short circuit, uh, we are setting the relay at 50 k so short circuit is happening, the current is reaching 50 k within 70 milliseconds, the breaker will drift. If the drift fails, after crossing 1 second, Automatically, the breaker will get damaged. After crossing one second, we can just imagine how much the current value will be. The current will reach maybe 80, 90, because uh, as soon as the time is getting delayed, the current also will, go, will get uh, improved in a short circuit condition. So, this is the withstand current. It can also be represented in another way. Normally, in ACB, you can, we can see this two, two parameters will be mentioned which are all the test report. Uh, here it represents 36 k for 3 seconds. Thirty six k for Six day for three seconds. So can uh, uh, which means for fifty k. This, this is all you know, happening. Uh, everything is related to IEC 
and uh, after 60947-2 when any, any is, uh, manufacturer they are manufacturing a breaker those breaker has to undergo several tests so these are the, some, these are the uh, procedures of doing those uh, tests actually what they will do they will give 50 kA they will wait for one second and they will uh, you know they will check whether the breaker uh, is getting damaged or not similarly they will give that 6 kA and they will wait for 3 seconds so the, the impact will be same 15 kA for a 1 second if it reaches some 75 degree 80 degree temperature Celsius means for that 6 if they are for that 6 kA for 3 seconds also it will reach the same temperature but uh, in practical usage if you can see the current will not in, in, in such a condition the current is not going to you know, stay at 36 itself it's not going to stay at 50 itself the current is going to increase continuously and tremendously so these are all for the purpose of test report and for understanding uh, so that we can you know if you compare several brands we have to check these parameters to select the best quality breaker so this is called the Withstand capacity, otherwise red light, short time, withstand current, ICW. These three parameters, IN, ICU, and ICW, these three are the very most important uh, while considering a circuit breaker. Okay, coming back to the ICS. 